afternoon. It's been 140 days since residents in Meriden near Solihull started a 24-hour protest vigil at a site where a group of travellers were attempting to develop Greenbelt land. Solihull councils already refused them permission to build on the land, but the travellers have the right to appeal, and the matter will now go before the government before a public inquiry is held in the next few months. In their latest plight to protect the area, 30 members of the group Residents Against Inappropriate Development are setting off on a five-day coach trip to the European Court of Human Rights in, uh, in Strasbourg. They'll be setting off on Sunday, and our reporter Michelle Dawes is with some of the group at the Eves Lane site in Meriden Forest. Yes, hello, Ed. I'm just looking across the East Green Lane site at the moment. Now, it's at least 14-plus caravans that I can see already well set up home there. It does cover quite a large part of the site, and there's also obviously a whole load of trailers, lorries. It, it does, I mean, this being described by the campaign group here as a desecration of the Greenbelt land. It is um, it completely changed the landscape of what is really a very green and rural area here in Meriden. Now, joining me is David McGrath who's a group leader of his campaign. David, it's been a long 144 days. How is the campaign going? Yes, we've been camped here 24 hours a day now for over 140 days. We're now leading an appeal against the Gypsies' appeal, which is basically to try and get permission to stay here. We're also attempting to raise quite a lot of money to pay for expensive barristers, solicitors and expert witnesses. So we've got our work cut out, but we're also taking our calls to Europe with our local MEP, Nikki Sinclair. And Nikki, Nikki's, Nikki Sinclair is here with me as well. Well, hello. hello, thank you for joining us. Now, this weekend, going to the European Court, this is quite a big step, really, isn't it? Well, what we're doing, what I'm happy to facilitate as the Independent West Midlands MEP, is to go there to actually protest, because what we're talking about is actually equal rights, not special rights. And our membership of the European Union and our signing up to the European Court Convention on Human Rights has actually allowed this kind of jurisprudence, meaning interpretation of a law, in a very, very narrow, liberal way. And that's distorted us. And what's actually happened here in... In the heart of England, Middle England, it's actually annoyed the very ordinary people who, you know, who stand by the laws of this country, etc. And I also was going to say, you know, the English are very tolerant, just people. But when you push the English too far, they fight back. And when they fight back, they win. And that's why I'm bringing them to Strasbourg, to actually show the strength of feeling. Now, our travellers, David, just coming back to you, have tried to get permission to stay put where they are. Do you know how far down the road they are with that? Well, they applied for planning permission after they moved in with bulldozers and barristers and desecrated the land here. Uh, that's been refused by Solihull Council. They are now appealing to the Secretary of State to be able to stay here. And what they're trying to do is use some of the loopholes that were introduced by John Prescott uh, in 2006 to stay here. We're busy lobbying our own government as well as Europe to try and close down those sort of loopholes that will benefit every other organisation in our position across the country, of which there are many. So this, this campaign is obviously a long one, but also, as you were mentioning earlier, quite an expensive one, really. Well, we could be easily talking about £40,000, and we're really upset that a lot of the energy and effort that we would normally put into charitable fundraising for example now goes into trying to put together a, a campaign to defend our green belt nevertheless it is a good cause it's a just cause and we'll be here until we win david thank you very much for joining me and nikki as well thank you so much for joining us well the group are now going to head off on that five-day coach trip to the european court of human rights in strasbourg and depending on what happens then the campaign and the 24-hour camp will continue ed back to you thanks very much um they're going to the European Court. Can you still hear me? Uh, I can, yes, hello. They're going to the European Court. What do they actually think they can achieve there? Can you or Nikki tell us? Well, well, I can I mean, I mean, can give you the bare bones. Nikki might be able to give you some more. Obviously, they're trying to take it to the next level to try and get this Greenbelt land back under the protection. Nikki, Ed is just asking me a bit more about the European Court. How much protection can they give us when it comes to this Greenbelt land? Well, it's actually, they're not the one that's given the protection. You know, the, the Convention of Human Rights has been signed in the Human Rights Act and the European Union via the Lisbon Treaty are actually the culprits of what's allowed this. It's actually created this kind of liberal interpretation, narrow interpretation over the years and actually we, our government's actually powerless now because of Lisbon to overturn this. So this is a protest to actually say, look, let's return those powers back to this country and let the ordinary people, law-abiding citizens, you know, live by the law and therefore you know, a fairness for everybody. Yeah, it's about redefining those parameters Absolutely. and getting the control back into our own hands. So hopefully, Ed, that makes it a little clearer for you. Yeah, and, and also, it might be worth mentioning that they're trying to raise 40,000 quid, which is what it's going to cost them to pay for lawyers 
during this first part of the public inquiry. Absolutely, as David was saying earlier, it is going to be a very expensive, yeah. expensive um, well campaign throughout. Already has been, and this is going to be much, much more. So yeah, they are hoping to raise forty thousand pounds. Is the aim that they are trying to raise for to pay for things like lawyers during this upcoming public inquiry? Michelle, thanks for being on the programme. It adds a bit of class. Thank you very much. Thank Always you. a pleasure. <laughs>